Here's a look at the wins for Troy Calhoun's leaders. Not only did they win the Commander in Chiefs trophy, they also beat BYU to snap a six game skid against the Cougars and they beat Georgia Tech in the Independence Bowl for a second straight bowl victory. Welcome into the Mountain Studios. This is the Air Force Falcon season in review show. I'm Marius Payton alongside Reggie Rivers and Ted Sunquist. For the next 30 minutes, we'll break down the Air Force season that was and it was another good one for the group. How about some thoughts on the season, Ted? I thought it was an outstanding year for the Falcons. Uh, certainly they were able to accomplish a number of their goals. That's to get to a bowl game and win it, which they did over Georgia Tech, and secure the Commander-in-Chief's trophy for the first time in seven years with wins over Army and Navy. I, I think they were hoping they would crack the top three of the Mountain West Conference this year. Didn't quite get it done, but overall, great year. You know, you're, you went to Air Force. I grew up in an Air Force family. One thing we know is that the smartest people go into the Air Force. Thank you. If you're not quite as smart, you can go to Navy, and if, if you just <laughs> looking for a place to lay down you join the army so that's why air force and navy have dominated in the commander in chief trophy but i thought a great year for the falcons troy Cal 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 calhoun gets his team ready to play week in and week out and they finish eight and four in the regular season nine and four after the bowl game and i just thought that this was another example of how well prepared the falcons are every week when i think that they operate at a talent deficit compared to most of the schools that they play against because of the intellectual level of their players well, they still had to go through another team to get that Commanders in Chief trophy, and that was Air Force. And th that that game heading into Army. Oh, that was yeah. Army heading into that Army game. What really hurt Army was the turnovers, Ted. It, it, it was turnovers really were a big factor in it. And also, we talked about when uh, Tim Jefferson throws the football, he means it. He was only three of seven, but two huge touchdown passes to Warzika. You see right here for big long gains. You know, Air Force, I think. Stacked up 40 plus points against the Black Knight defense that had played really well. Is this a game where they, once you get past Navy, it's all downhill from there? Because you, because I mean, you, you know you're gonna beat Army. Yeah, you know what? My my sister dated a guy who was in the Army, and she's gonna marry him. But we we talked her out of it. She didn't <laughs> want her life to go downhill. She married a guy who was in the Air Force, and her life has been rosy ever since. You know, Navy. You know, right or wrong, Navy is the team that you've got to beat if you want to get that Commander in Chief trophy for the past seven years. Before that, it was Air Force that was the team to beat for six or seven years in a row. But Navy is that team, and I know that when Air Force beat Navy, they knew, hey, we've got something special. Let's go out and take care of Army and get this trophy back.